He always comes back to haunt me. Because you loved him? Yes. He promised me forever. Perhaps forever became too long for him. Life goes on. And on and on. Do you know what makes life worth living, Elliot? Tell me. Death. Death gives meaning to life. That, the Times crossword, and a decent Merlot. <laughs> I'll be shooting at paparazzi tonight. You'll be happy to know. Excellent. I've already sent the prints there for next month's show. Oh, and the editor of After Midnight has been ringing incessantly. They're looking to fill their next issue. I stalled, but nicely. You do a wonderful job, Elliot. something like this in a long time. Look, why don't you come back to the hotel for an old night cabin? Huh? I don't think so. I have to go back and develop film. I like what's developing right now. This isn't what this is about. Sure it is. You don't want to do this. Let go of me. You're hurting me. Keep fighting me. You're going to get hurt real bad.
Male Caucasian, early 30s, looks like a businessman, exactly the same M.O. Knife wound in the throat, severed the carotid. Blonde hair's on his coat. He was cut over there and tossed into the dumpster. How big is he? 6'2", probably 200, 210. Take a lot of muscle to lift that much dead weight. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're talking about more than one guy. Third one in six months. What's it going to take to convince Sal? A road map. No, no, no. I don't mind holding it all. We're on to something, Sal. No, fine. At his convenience. Thank you. If you put us on this full time, we can crack it. What's to crack, folks? You know how many people get killed by knives in the city every year? Uh, yeah, actually, we've averaged 80 a year since 90. And you've got three? Not enough for a poker game. I'm not breathing hard, Poole. All were men, all died at night, all had throat trauma. None of them had any defensive wounds, which is very weird in a knife attack. There's a pattern here, Sal, a common context. Let me share a context with you. The city's on the short list for the next Republican convention. That little party's worth about 100 million bucks. Republicans are very concerned about their safety. And some imaginary murderer on the loose is not the best PR. Sal, this guy is real. No, Poole, I'll tell you what's real. What's real is that I'm the one who's going to have to go and break the bad news to the chief and the mayor. So before I go in there and open my mouth, I want to know what I'm talking about. Am I making myself perfectly clear, Poole? Context-wise? This isn't about politics. Everything's about politics. Yeah. Oh, Congressman, thanks for returning my call so soon. <laughs> no, no, the chief would be delighted. And, and we're planning on helping as much as we can with the campaign. You know, the situation being in public office. box since Maria dumped you. What's that, two, three weeks without a fix? Uh, would you like the uh, jelly or the chocolate clay? Both. How's it going? Not bad. Every knife assault for the last two years cross-referenced with all the uncleared homicides. And? Nine probables that match ours. Won't be enough for Cosentino. It's a start. You got something better? As a matter of fact... The guy in the dumpster. Mm -hmm. So? Check out the date. It's three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. The night they found her? Probably taken just before he was murdered. Whoever took that photograph was probably the last person to see him alive. Rebecca Barnes. Sure. O'Connor. 